The Council of Ministers met in an extraordinary session today at Seif Palace under the chairmanship of His Highness Sheikh Jabir Limbarak Al Hamad Al Subah, the Prime Minister, and reviewed a draft law to sanction the budgets of the government ministries and institutions for the fiscal year 2014-2015. The Deputy Premier and Minister of Commerce and Industry and Acting Minister of Finance, Dr. Abdul Mohsen Al Midraj, said the Council of Ministers was briefed in detail by the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Finance, Khalifa Hamada, about the budget components which were as follows. First, the revenues estimations, particularly the oil revenues, the main income of the budget, were estimated at $75 per barrel for a total production of 2.7 million barrels per day. Thus, the oil revenues for the fiscal year were estimated at 18,805.7 million Kuwaiti dinars. The oil revenues constitute 94% of the total revenues. Non-oil revenues were estimated at 1,263.3 million dinars at the rate of 6%. Allocations for the next generation's reserve in the fiscal year are estimated at 5,017.3 million dinars. The expenditure of actual needs of the ministries and government agencies were estimated at 21,864.5 million dinars, showing an increase of 681.9 million dinars or 3.2%. The deficit after deducting next generation's reserve will be 6,632.8 million dinars. And the salaries and wages were estimated at 1,117.6 million dinars, which means that they constitute 7.3%. The subsidies to commodities and services were estimated at 5,107 million dinars, with an increase of 6.1%. And the current and capital expenditure are estimated at 18,777.5 million Kuwaiti dinars, which is 86.6% from the total expenses. Dr. El Medaj said the Council of Ministers highly appreciated the great efforts made by the Ministry of Finance in collaboration with other departments in preparing the budget. The Cabinet also asked all officials in the government ministries to work hard and rationalize the expenses of their departments in order to serve the high interests of the country and citizens.